what is going on everybody how are you guys doing today today is thursday october 15th 2020 and i am your boy christian israel and you are tuned into the new creation capital podcast this is a place where we discuss what happens in the world today the stock market and yes digital assets this is the one place stop shop where you can get everything that you need in your day for your christ and crypto because as i love to say Jesus makes you a new you by giving you a new future because in him, guys, you are a new creation. Welcome to episode 214, guys. If this is your first time to the channel, please make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You know, do the social media thing. I truly appreciate you and all that you do. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today, we're going to discuss the XRP target. It hit. I hit. I've been discussing it for the past few days, and today it hit exactly what I thought. I haven't been giving really Bitcoin targets, but I have been setting my XRP trading leverages uh, targets, and today it actually hit right on time, and that's what we're going to dive into today, guys. So I don't want to uh, take too much longer. You guys know the, uh, how do I say this? Um... I don't know. You just, you know the thing you know. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of this, guys. Let's go ahead and jump on into the charts. I don't know what is going on. Uh, but the target that I hit today, I was looking to hit 24.5 on XRP. And we hit exactly. We are actually following uh, this parallel channel right here right now that started... Uh, back on September 21st, we broke back into this, and we have been trading in an upward channel ever since. This is actually a Fibonacci channel you see from the top of August down to the bottom uh, in September when we hit 21 cents, well, 22, 21, 9, 22, and now we are up almost three cents since then, but my target to be hit today was 24.5, which I talked about, and we actually went all the way down on Prime XBT to 24.2. I think I said we could hit 24.2, 24.3, somewhere in there. I think I said that yesterday. Um, just looking for a target to hit to add to my margin long. I said we have a possibility to go lower than that. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get it there. I said, uh, what is this, 24.4? is uh, the lowest on the four hour that I'm seeing here. And we discussed this yesterday, guys, about our four hour uh, 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 uh stochastic, right? I call it stochi or stachi, um, that it was going to break down after this rejection. But I think we have a chance to move right on up and this will be our next target. I mean, we are at the bottom of the momentum and that's what we end up hitting. Um, and it just rolled up and just, hit it on the four hour so you can see here on the rsi on the four hour we are in bullish i mean bearish territory but um a little divergence here do you see that a little bullish divergence um and hopefully we can break i'm gonna go here this is i mean yeah i mean technically this makes the most sense but i'm gonna go here this is what we're looking at hopefully this does you see it's rolling over on the four hour Hopefully that just doesn't bounce on up, but you can see here on the pivot points, how I talked about weekly, um, that we might come back down in this area and bounce off here. Uh, we did that at seven o'clock this morning, my time, uh, it hit 24, three, I actually filled right there and now we're above. So I am currently, uh, in profit up 0 0.001 cents. But again, this is a margin long guys for me to continue to move upward. I try to give you guys my targets on XRP because this is what I, I, I pay attention to. Um, this is really exactly what I pay attention to. So um, just adding to it, I, I believe in XRP. We know swell is going on right now. Um, and I believe, I thought the news would sell anyway, right? Buy the rumors, sell the news. So this is what I'm seeing. Um, if I just do a, you know, just a little mini here. You see, we got a little downtrend line there. And I think we're kind of like this too. So we're sort of a, uh, a wide channel here. 
but nothing too crazy. I don't want to go too close. I like to pull back to the daily to see. And here's where you can see exactly the pivot point here. 24.3 is the S1. We are bouncing off of that now and coming up. So we will see if this rolls back over and double test this, right? We get a double bottom on the S1 and then continues to break up. Uh, if this breaks below, the next target would be 23.2. Um, do I think we get there? No, I think we have enough power right here in this area, guys. Right in here. Right there. I don't think we're going to get lower than that. Is it a possibility? Yes. Why do I say that? Because the DXY, I always tell you guys the DXY is something that I look for uh, when it comes to my trading as far as the altcoins are concerned and the crypto market altogether. But you can see here, this has been my interest target here. I think I told you guys it's a possibility the DXY can come up to, to double top here, 94.75. But I, I hope it doesn't break 94. You see, we got a little bit rejection. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this. We got a little bit of uh, testing this moving average, which I believe is the 50-day moving average here. We got a little bit of a wick there. So we're coming back down to test it. I'm hoping we reject off of this area right here, 94, and continue to roll over. But this has been my interest for me. Um, as I told you guys before, when the DXY is green, as in a green candle, crypto goes negative. When the DXY has a red candle, crypto, for the most part, goes positive. And you can see that today in XRP. I told you, um, and plus, the other thing, guys, was um, the other thing... Let me see where the quick, 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 quick. We're going to go to XRP. I'll come back to that. Um, I also told you guys, right, uh, XRP had a nine on the TD sequential. We needed to do a reset. Now we've done two resets, uh, a one and a two in the red TD sequential. We have not completely broken this uptrend line either. So this has been our uptrend line of support. And I set this before here. We had one, two, almost three touches. And I considered this is our uptrend that I didn't make sure we didn't break. We wicked down below it. We hit 24.3 on our VPVR, which is our visible range. Also, I call it the sandbox, right? Where we build our castles, building that sand, piling that sand on top. And we actually, that used it to support. So we're inside of this box here. And we need to try to come back up to the 25.6 range to continue our way up um our rsi is under 50 uh you can see here the macd is rolling over it doesn't mean it can stop you can see here that we don't have to go all the way into the red but tomorrow my friends is friday so anything can happen you also see our daily uh stoch here is hanging out right there so we really don't want that to break um you can see here a little bearish divergence going on there. Uh, overall, just show this area right here. This is a level that we do not want to break. That's just what I'm seeing here just right off the top, right? We don't want to break that. Ho hopefully, oh, something's crossing here. I don't even know what alert I just set, but that's an alert I set apparently. Um we don't want that to break under 69. Keep it in bullish territory. So as I told you, we are expecting that correction. I told you a couple of days that we are going to have a pullback correction. That was actually um, XRP. But if we flip over and we look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin's had a green day today. Bitcoin has is beginning to separate itself from the DXY. Um, right, right. That's another, that's sorry, those were alerts for trading alerts. So uh, Bitcoin is kind of doing its own thing. It still has to reset. It needs to come down. Uh, and I said, I told you guys 10.9 is a possibility here. 10.886 is on the Fibonacci sequence here. But I believe 10.9 is still in the cards. It could be a wick, but could happen over the weekend. You can see here the MACD. Is still rolling up but the momentum of the macd is coming down we're not getting as much in even if we check the volume here let me do this so we can get rid of all that right you see the volume is coming down 
So we, we don't have a pop. You can see it's all the way from July 28th. The volume has been decreasing and decreasing and decreasing slowly. So, you know, our sand castle, as you can see here, this is the biggest part. That's holding up. If that breaks, we're coming down to right in this area. So I think 10.9 is a possibility we could see that over the weekend or it could just go straight bullish. But I think crypto, I think when you look at the rest of the, of the market, you see all this red. I mean, quant's up 5%. Uh, but for the most part, everything is in the red right now. I mean, even if we go to uh, Coin360, let's see what, what happens when we bring up Coin360. Just taking a wild guess that it's going to be red. Okay, it's not. Well, you see Bitcoin's up 0.18% or 0.98% on the day. Uh, Ethereum's up 0.22% on the day. Uh, let's see, XRP has had its target hit like I expected. It looks like a 50-50 here, um, which makes me want to do, you know what that makes me want to do? That makes me want to go over here um, and look at the total market cap. The total market cap on the day is a green doji, uh, which could sometimes signal a reversal. Let's look at the altcoin market cap, the same. So overall, uh, market cap is good. It is in green, so nothing too bad there. That's always good to see. Uh, let's see here, the Bitcoin futures. Still got this little gap here that has not been filled. So what is this gap at? 11.2, seems to be a small gap here at 11.2. So that hasn't been filled. Uh, we still have this down here that hasn't been filled. Let me go ahead and just um, fill it in. Now I'm not saying that it needs to be filled, but for some reason these things get filled. No one knows why. Self-fulfilling prophecy maybe, uh, but they do, they do. So we can see here that there's just a couple little spots that still need so maybe Bitcoin comes down uh, tags the 50-day moving average here at 10.9 like I said I still think that's a possibility and breaks right on out of there um, I think we're still in it for a good place everything I'm looking at for the most part that I am in right now is in the red nothing crazy I mean we know crow had that big correction yesterday CRL crypto.com that's because their staking went from 18% down to 6% so I'm sure people sold and got out of it I'm still staking it. So for me, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but that's what I'm seeing in the charts. I, I hit the, the target that I need to hit. And that was 24.5 on XRP. And um, that's where we are. So I think if we go any lower, it'd be 24.1. Um, the only way is I'm going to set another buy for myself around the 23.6 area. Um somewhere in this area i'm gonna have to look it out but for now that was the target i'd hit i didn't expect it to break any lower can it it's possible um do i really see it i mean i don't the issue is we had that stimulus package that is just not going to pass and since that stimulus package is not passing until we move forward in the crypto and in, in the elections anything can happen guys so like I say, what I really like to pay attention to, for me personally, is the DXY. And, you know, I think we're in the red for a couple of days here, right? Okay, so you can see here, this is my target that was possible, right? I said, yeah, wow, this is actually, it's kind of cool to go back and see exactly what, you know, I draw a line and say what we predict from yesterday. So we actually have gone halfway where I thought we would go. So I said here that we might, that we could possibly go to this target from there. And look, we have gone halfway. We've also switched, we are six on the TD sequential in the red. We've switched to one, which means we've reset. I would prefer us to go ahead tomorrow and go red and then continue our downtrend because everything is resetting. But again, I said this is a possible target, 94.72 before rolling back over. So that's what I have to say about that. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys were able to get in that XRP 24.5 target there. I don't have a stop loss on it. None of my XRP longs right now are stop loss because I believe the bottom is in. Um, if I don't, I don't believe we're going to go under uh, 21.9. 
I don't. Um, so I don't have a stop loss. Um, if we do, it's a wick. I won't get, I, I won't get uh, liquidated because I'm not too large. I have, uh, I'm only using like six, I'm using 37% of my margin right now. So I've got 67, 63% left. So I can still get in some trades. So if we do come down here into this area again, I'll go ahead and, and add to my longs and try to buy some more XRP uh, in a trade so I can make some serious money. I'm looking for, uh, Lord willing, a five-figure trade by the time we hit the targets that I am looking to hit and those targets that I am looking to hit. Those targets I'm looking to hit for, for uh, let me pull out to the wiki, for XRP specifically. I look in us to hit do, 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 do. when it's all said and done around 60 cents. So I've got buy, I've got uh, take profit around 54 cents of my take profit area now. Um, as far as those, not sell all my XRP, but take profit, and that is 64 cents. So um, this is this is what I'm waiting on. We're gonna see if this plays out. I'm gonna keep showing you guys this, and Lord willing, this hits where it has to. So for now, guys, that is the end of the crypto section. I hope you guys really, really enjoy this. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And we can move on to, of course, you guys know the cry section. And what I want to read to you guys in the cry section is actually what I sent to the lady in my life today. I send her uh I send her scripture every morning and every night. And this is what I sent to her today. This is from Exodus. Uh, chapter 14, verse 13 to 15, it goes like this. And Moses said to the people, fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians, whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have all, and you have only to be silent. The Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. And that was my message to her today. And this will be my message to you guys today. Don't look back on what tries to enslave you or look on your past. Look forward. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't cry out to the Lord asking, fix my past. Ask the Lord to guide you forward. And be strong and be courageous as you move forward with the Lord because he will protect you. Once you are in him, you are a new creation. Your past you will see no more. Will people try to bring it up? Absolutely. People will do that with me. People will always do that with me, and that will never leave me. And anybody who has read my book, Learning to Love in the Wilderness, you know exactly what I'm talking about. My past is never going away, and people are going to try to criticize me, call me names, and do whatever they want, and say whatever they want to me. But I know the Lord calls me something else. I know what the Lord says about me, and my job is to be courageous and move forward, and so is yours. You can apply that to everything, trading, life, relationships, communication with the Lord is key, communication with each other are key, and me and my future uh, wife, we have begun to really get good at our communication, and right now, as far long as the devil continues to attack us, it just builds us stronger, because what, what, what God brings together in man and woman, let no man tear apart, and that's why I see it, man, so... For those who need to hear a word to, to move forward and be strong, I, I, I urge you to push forward. I urge you to let the Lord guide your life. And so, like I said, that's again, that's, you know, if you want to really get a dive into the book, Learning to Love in the Wilderness, um, I think you'd really enjoy that because, man, I, I talk about my past, my present at the time and where the Lord's going to take me. And it is ugly, but it is beautiful at the same time. Uh, all the beauty and the chaos uh, that the Lord can create this amazing painting. So um, that's how you guys can support the channel. You can support me if you want. Of course, please make sure you, you can hit the like button. You can subscribe, um, share. That's pretty much it. There's some links below for you guys to, to do other things. But the link to the books below, or you can go on Barnes & Nobles, Amazon, uh, wherever you guys like to buy your books, my book is there. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. For now, guys, did you hit your target? Are you bullish or bearish? I told you, I'm a bull right now. I think we're in a bull market. Doesn't mean you can't make money in the short term, right? So for now, guys, this is the end of episode 214. Wow. Target hit. 
My name is Christian Israel, and you are tuned into the New Creation Capital Podcast. This is a place where we discuss what happens in the world today, the stock market, and yes, general assets. This is the one-stop shop where you can get everything that you need in your day for your Christ and crypto, because as I love to say, Jesus makes you a new you by giving you a new future, because in him, guys, you are a new creation. Until next time, guys, please remember, God loves you. I love you. You are loved. I forgot what my next part was. My mind just went blank. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace and love. God bless you all. Later, guys.